okay, hello. Um, this is my tenth video. Today uh, I'm down with a friend down a local wild pond um, that we found on Google Earth, and uh, we've come to try and catch whatever it contains. Really, um, we've been down here a few times to look, and we've seen what looks like some wild carp. Um, so, yeah, oh, we're going. We're fishing on the float with uh, corn and uh, maybe a bit of bread on the surface if they're up near the top. Uh, but that'll be our tactics for today. Uh, very simple, and uh, we're not down here for too long. Only about four hours. And so, yeah, we'll try and catch a few nice fish to show you. And, uh, yeah. See you okay, later. hey, first fish of the day. What a beautiful one it is, too. Look at the huge scales in it. It's an absolutely beautiful mirror carp. I reckon it's around about three, four pounds. Okay, I mean, it just ran straight off into the middle of the lake when I hooked it. Um, we've been going really slow, hadn't even had a touch on the float, and then the float just draws away slowly. And it just went, uh, gave me an incredible fight. Um, got it in the net, and it's absolutely beautiful fish. Look at those scales running laterally down its body. It's a linear mirror, and uh, I'm absolutely chuffed. We're slipping back, and we've got a couple of hours to try and catch some more. So that's brilliant. Okay, hey, we just weighed that fish. It was five pounds and uh, six ounces. A little bit bigger than I thought. Um, but it's such a beautiful lake. I think my float's down there somewhere. I can't quite see it, but it might be in the picture somewhere. Um, but I'm just fishing out to the right of some lilies. Um, with my Gray's rod and a Fladen reel. Just really, really simple stuff on six pound Daiwa line. Uh, just because these are wild carp and they fight so hard. Uh, and there's a lot of snags in this lake, they're broken trees, there's one out there somewhere. And so, yeah, we just got to be careful. Um, I still can't see my float on the thing. No idea, nope. Um, yeah, so basically we'll try and catch some more. And uh, we'll see you if we've got another fish or something like that but it's not all about the fish when you're down a place like this it's a beautiful day the lake we are sitting in an absolutely beautiful lake um, not a, a hole in the ground a commercial uh, but down a, a wild lake that we found um, and so yeah it's, we're having a lovely time uh, and a, a couple of nice fish on top would just be a bonus but yeah I'll see you later okay hey um it's been a bit slow recently. Uh, we've had about an hour since that last fish. Um, there aren't many fish in this lake, I and mean, it's quite apparent because there isn't much activity. You occasionally see a swirl on the surface or a bat coming out of the water, but there isn't much um, to, to fish to. But we've just got our floats down uh, by the marginal lilies where we had our, where I had my first one, um, and so yeah, we'll uh, try and get a couple more. To sort of fill in the time, uh, here is, uh, I'm just going to put in a little bit of filming from the venue we're going to go to on Tuesday. Uh, that's going to be our big our big trip of Easter. might take a while to edit, um, but yeah, uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's a really nice lake, um, carp up to uh, just touching 40, 40 pounds, um, and so yeah, we might have a couple out. And, I'm not expecting anything, but we'll, we'll hope to get a couple. Um, and so, yeah, here's a bit of the lake. Okay, hey, this is uh, just part of it. It's, um, this is the swim we're thinking about fishing. I'll have one out to the left of the island and one down to the margin of the lake. Um, if the swim's free, we'll probably be fishing here, um, but you never know. So, yeah. There's still a little bit of your taste.
Let's go. Uh, unfortunately, it's come to the end of the session. Uh, I've only had one out, but it was a really nice one. Um, um, we haven't been down here for that long. Uh, this is the first time we've been down here, so uh, basically just guessing as to tactics and baits and things. Um, but to get that one out, I was really pleased with uh, five pounds six ounce, um, and they fought so well because obviously it's wild down here. Um, uh, we saw what looked like roach fry, uh, and it's quite a tenchy looking lake. There's a lot of lilies, um, just actually just some down there, and then. Uh, there were tench uh, bubbles around that looked like tench disturbing the bottom because that is their classic uh, giveaway sign is that mud swirling up because uh, tench like to root around their bottom. Um, so yeah, we'll be down here again at some point. Obviously, because uh, I've got GCSEs, I've been doing revision most of the time, so that's why uh, a video hasn't been up for a while. So I, I sorry, sorry for that, but um, obviously in the summer I get all that time off, so it'd be quite nice. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, look out for the next one on Tuesday, which will be uh, the big carp session. Uh, and, yeah, I'll uh, see you next time.